On average, each aircraft has a lightning strike per year. What we try and do here is simulate that lightning in a test environment, in a controlled environment. My name's Chris Stone. I'm the lab manager here at the Morgan Botti Lightning Laboratory at Cardiff University. This lab is a research and test facility for the aerospace industry mainly. So we simulate lightning strikes, which is a direct effects test of aerospace materials and look at the performance of those materials. So the capacitors are used to store the energy that we charge it with uh, from our charger, which is on the roof over there. And they store that energy like a big battery until we want to throw the switch and discharge that battery through to our test sample. In the past, where aeroplanes have been built out of aluminium, lightning wasn't seen to be such a, a problem. But with the development of composite materials, they decided that they could use those composite materials to save weight, save fuel, be a greener alternative. But because the composite materials were not aluminium, they've had to introduce a lightning protection system. But in doing that, they need to test the panels that they use on aircraft. And that's where we come in to investigate or test the performance of those composite structures. We'll place that in our test rig. We'll strike it with a lightning current and then we can analyse that material afterwards to see whether it's performed well enough to be protected against the lightning strike. So this is uh, our test chamber. So in this corner, you see the cables that bring in the electrical current, uh, the lightning current from the capacitor bank we've just seen. And that flows through to our test rig. We're not accredited as a laboratory. So we can't say if something is safe or not safe. So we'll advise and say whether it's survived or not survived, what has happened to it and what the lightning has done to it after a strike. And then if we can see a way that that structure might need to change or there's an alternative to make it less susceptible to lightning damage, we'll advise perhaps on that. That capacitor bank can output the same amount as a power station in a fraction of a second. I mean, it's only for a fraction of a second, but it still outputs an enormous amount of power. You're talking, I don't know, tens of thousands of kettles <laughs> being boiled at the same time. So we can test other things. And we've done a few tests on tree mortality where we've developed sensors trying to find out which trees get struck by lightning in a rainforest situation because they're worried about the mortality of the trees and to try and figure out how many trees are getting struck by lightning, uh, which they don't know. When we create lightning, we create thunder. It comes with uh, some risk, uh, with noise, so we have to wear the defenders when we, when we fire it. So our lab will test samples from students who have projects that they're working on. They can come here and they can have it tested without the commercial lab type arrangement. So we're, we're quite open as a test facility. So people can come to us and, and we'll probably take stuff on board that other labs wouldn't take on because we're not really profit making. If it'll fit in our test rig and we, we deem it uh, interesting enough to test, we'll, we'll, we can test it.